So the question for today that I have is like, how do you use additional EAs uh, at the same time, like simultaneously with the trade copper? Like if you want to copy trades from the master account, but you're not trading manually, uh, is there a way to use other EAs on the same MetaTrader so that you can copy trades from that one or even more EAs uh, from the master account? So the uh, you know the sh as always there's a short answer and the long one yeah so I like the long ones but the short answer is yes um, it's very actually simple uh, to do that but like today's video I want to demonstrate this step by step and make it as simple as possible so what I'm gonna do is I, I'm gonna use full meta trader platforms that I have here on my VPS server. And I'm going to use those as an example. So we have MetaTrader 4 from GB Brokers at the top left. So we'll use that as a master account. So I'm opening any chart. It doesn't really matter. And I will attach server EA. And I click OK. So my master account is ready now. It's already listening for any trades. It can broadcast to other accounts. Now, for the first client account, I will be using this one at the top right. That's MetaTrader 5 from DarwinX. I'm opening any chart and then I attach a client to you. I'm making sure I have allowed the LLM press there because if it's not allowed, uh, you don't have OK button. A lot of people get stuck there. It's like, oh, where's my OK button? So I have to allow the LLM press, then it appears. So in the inputs, I'm I'm not changing anything. I just go with the default settings to make it as simple as possible, basically. So here we go. We have client account number one. Uh, for the client account number two, I'm going to use Admiral Markets MetaTrader 5 right there at the bottom left. And it's the same. I'm opening any chart. I'm attaching the client EA with the default settings. Nothing fancy. And lastly, for the client account number three, I will use MetaTrader 4 from Scandinavian Markets. And again, I'm opening any chart. I'm attaching client EA, click OK. And that's pretty much it for the setup. So we have one master broadcasting and three client EAs listening for the trades coming from that master. I could add multiple masters there if we want more accounts and so on, but just to make it as simple as possible and quick as possible to explain, nobody wants to watch like two hour long video. Yeah. So I'm just making like simple example like that. So obviously if I open a manual trade like this, yeah, it will get copied. So that's cool. But the question here we are trying to uh, talk about is how do you copy trades from other EAs that you want to run simultaneously with your trade copper? And a lot of a lot of people ask me this question because of this thing: how MetaTrade is structured to work with the expert viruses. See what is happening if I try to attach, let's say, this EA on the chart. It immediately asks me, like, do you want to stop? local trade copper server and execute this particular Aussie dollar EA, whatever, you know, the name. And if I say yes, look what's happening. So instead, it will open that EA, remove the local trade copper server EA. Yeah, as you can see. So that's a wrong way to do it, guys. That's a wrong way to do it, okay? It, and we can see EA immediately placed the trade. That's how it's programmed to work. So it placed the trade and it wasn't copied. Okay, none of these client EAs copied the trade, even though they're listening for the uh, master to send the trades, but the master is no longer there. Okay, you can see it's this Aussie dollar EA that's replaced it. So if we go to expert advisors and remove it, so it's like now it's empty chart. We don't have anything there. So that's a wrong way to do it, guys. Okay. So let me close that now. We'll close this one as well. So let's start from the beginning. So I'm opening a chart. 
I am attaching server EA. Master account is ready. Now to put the EA on the same meta trader to run it simultaneously with the master, uh, like with the server EA or any other EA, I need to open additional chart windows. Now, if you want to open, the, uh, let's say you need to open the same time frame or or even pair, doesn't matter. You can have up to one hundred chart windows, so it can be the same chart, the same instrument. It could be the same time frame or different time. It doesn't matter. I can open Aussie Cat. Uh, it's the same time frame, the same pair. Yeah, I can open another one. I can open a third one, like like you name it, you choose it it's like the way you need it, yeah. So let's not overcomplicate it. So we have another chart, one for master uh, server EA, another one is empty right now, and I'm gonna put this EA now. So I'm putting this EA on this empty chart, and it immediately opens a trade as it programmed to do so. Uh, put a stop loss on it and we can see it got immediately copied so that is the the right way to do it guys yeah and because i mentioned you can have many charts there yeah so see what will happen if i open let's say five minute dollar cad and then i i can even attach the same um the same ea it's just advisable to use a different magic number for each ea instance any EA you use should have a magic number that you can set. So now we have two trades and they were copied immediately. Yeah, So you can see how it works. And we can have um, a lot of EAs on the same um, on the same meta trade terminal. This is how it works. So it doesn't matter that server EA is running on all the CAD and now we have EA running on dollar CAD or, or let's say dollar Swiss franc. Look what will happen. I'm, I'm running another EA and it's placing a trade and we got a trade copied immediately. So it doesn't matter what uh, instrument or time frame the server is running on, it will pick any trades it will find on the account. And at the same time, I can even open manual trades. Yeah. So I can even go to the same chart where I have um, what I have the EA and it can open trade and it get copied. I can place a pending order limit and it get copied. Where is it? We can see it. Yeah, here it is. And uh, I can I can close the trades earlier or we can wait for them to hit a stop loss or the EA might close them earlier, whatever the strategy is coded into the EA's algorithm. Yeah, but we have the right because I'm the account owner here, I have the right to close trades earlier. And the trade copper, the client here will repeat that as well. So as you can see, it's like pretty straightforward. The one missing piece that you didn't knew about how to run simultaneously multiple EAs on the account is that you open a different chart, different chart with like empty new empty chart for every EA that you want to run. And because MetaTrader allows you to have 100 charts, up to 100 chart windows, it means you can have 100 EAs running on MetaTrader. Uh, I can tell you from experience, it gets very, very slow and sluggish and like, you know, but um, but it's, yeah, it's it's possible. So if you have to reserve one chart for a server EA that it would send the trades, then it means the, the remaining 99 charts that you can open, you can have um you can have other EAs. Okay. So whenever EA opens a trade and it gets copied, or you open the trade manual and it gets copied to other accounts with the default client EA settings, it will adjust the lot size, like it will scale it up or down, make it smaller or bigger according to the account differences. And one cool one cool thing for the last minute I want to show you is like, let's say we'll open another chart and let's say we will attach 
a trading panel. I know a lot of you guys use trading panels. So whether you use trading panel, uh, this one trader and chart that comes from me, or whether you use anything else, uh, any other trading panel, you will see that you can also place trading panels uh, on a new empty chart, place a trade, and it will get copied as well. So let's see if we can replicate that. What I've just said, I'll just make this a bit bigger like that. We can see Aussie Cat uh, EA just opened another trade, yeah, and and it just got copied immediately. So so imagine like you, if you have an EA that's making money and trading for you twenty four seven, you can have an account and you know you just go live your life. And while while you're enjoying your life or you sleep at night, that EA is trading and trade copper scoping trades. This is how uh, technology serves us, not we serving technology. Yeah. So I'm gonna close that to not um, to not confuse us. So look, we have uh, Aussie yen, uh, sorry, dollar yen pair. Yeah. So I will say I wanna one lot size. And I want to have like 20 pip stop loss. I want to have 40 pip take profit. And I'm going to sell. I just open a sell trade with a with that particular stop loss and take profit. And it's immediately got copied to all the client accounts just the way it is on the master. Yeah, at the exact same prices. The entry price might be different because of the slippage very slightly. But the stop loss and take profit remains as it is. So if I close this trade and give you another example, this time I will make it, make it risk 1%. And this is really cool, guys. Look how it works if I if I risk 1%. So I'm going buy. So I just bought dollar yen risking 1%. And because we got 20 pip stop loss, it's calculated automatically that to lose like to risk not to lose to risk one percent we don't know what the trade outcome will be whether winning or losing but we are risking 173 dollars let me hold that mouse again so we can see it again here we go we are risking 173 dollars uh and that amount is because of 20 pip stop loss and 1.29 lot size. And $173 is exactly 1% risk on this 17,238 uh, account that we have there, yeah? So if we now look on the client side, the very same risk, oh, I just need to switch to dollar yen. There we go. So if I hover my mouse, on the on the stop loss it says we're risking 96 euros so 96 euros is one percent calculated from this 9687 euro count uh, as you can see now if we go to this one and we have an account which is 8226 guess how much money it is risking with this specific lot size. So client TA chose and set the specific lot size to risk 1%. So 1% should be about $82. Let's see. So it's 83.98. So it's like very close, yeah? And now if we go there on this account number four, So it's 29,000. So it should be risking $290 on the straight, roughly. Yeah. It's risking $301. Yeah. So it's pretty close. It's like it calculates as close as possible to risk 1%. And this is happening because, like, with the increments on, you know, that it can go, like, which is, 0 0.01 um we you know we try to get as close as possible to risk the amount which is one percent 
Okay, guys. So if we close the trade, we even got a, ourselves some profit there, yeah, during the demo. <laughs> okay, so that's pretty much it explaining this thing. And I hope you enjoy that.